What's good, family? Shout out to my doggy Jerry for boosting up your man the YB coin. So, we got some breaking news right now regarding your man's Tyson oh, Fury and Retirement Gate slash WBC Vacation Gate. Now, this really here, in fact, you know what, let me give you, man, the, the drop here. So, Mauricio Suleiman has essentially spoken out on the whole Fury retirement situation. Bear in mind that retirement is key to the WBC. Obviously, if Tyson Fury officially retires, his belt will be vacated. So, on that basis, Suleiman, the WBC president, released the following statement. In the last few hours, the WBC will be communicating with Tyson Fury and his promoters about his future plans in the coming week. We are ready to support him on whatever he decides. If he decides to retire, the WBC will fully support him. Now, this doesn't really tell us much, where well, it does to some extent, because... They say they're speaking to Fury within a week. So really, within a week, we're going to find out how serious Tyson Fury is about retirement. Yeah, I remember after the Wilder fight, Fury said a few times, I'm going to retire, I'm going to retire. Having said that, he never vacated the belt, obviously. So this really will be a key telltale, and I'm glad we do have this signal. Because this means, well... Even if it's not within the next week, within the next month, we'll know. Yeah, if Tyson Fury hasn't vacated within the next month officially, then we know he ain't he ain't likely to retire. Although there is an argument that, well, I guess from the WBC's point of view, they want active fees, so they won't really want a belt just sitting around the place for the sake of it. But given the prospects, i.e. There's no big money earners like there is with Tyson Fury. Relevance? Well, they're much, the WBC is much more likely to be lenient, i.e. telling Tyson Fury, you know what, Tyson, mate, if you want to sit around and decide in four months' time, so be it. Obviously, that's bad for us fans if that's the case. Hopefully, for our fans' sake, the WBC pressure Fury to make a decision now. Either you're going to stay on and fight on or not. But looking, reading between the lines on these quotes, he says, the president says, we'll fully support him on whatever he decides. So that implies some leniency here. I.e. Tyson, we're desperate for the king of boxing to, main, to carry on representing our belt. If you want to take a few months and let us know, so be it. Bear in mind as well, people, there's nothing else going on. Wilder's still got his ban. Sorry, no. Yeah, Wilder's ban's just run out, so Wilder can come back, but there's some talks Wilder's retired anyway. So Wilder ain't coming back, or certainly isn't slated to be coming back, although maybe a WBC title fight would probably lure him back, I'd have thought. Well, put it this way, if anything would lure Wilder back, it would be a WBC world title fight, or world title opportunity. So, but even putting Wilder to one side, there's no other big money fights out there. Even if you think about, apparently Eddie Hearn put something out the other day saying, if Tyson Fury retires, we're going to apply for the vacant WBC to be put into the mix against AJ and Usyk, which was similar to what happened with Klitschko and AJ. Klitschko and AJ, AJ... Klitschko had been retired after losing to Tyson Fury. AJ had the IBF belt who he beat Charles Queen Martin for. So what happened was, the WBA, which was vacant at the time, Eddie Hearn basically said, listen, AJ versus Klitschko is the biggest fight in the game right now, heavyweight game right now. WBA, would you put it up for AJ and Klitschko to fight for? They agreed. So it wouldn't be unprecedented. In fact, it would make sense. But AJ and Usyk aren't fighting until July. And that's my point here. The WBC 
based on that, based on there's no big names around, it's not as if there's well why be there's we've got two one or two brimming WBC contenders. The number one the long reign in number one WBC contender was Dillian White and he just got his pack smoked for him. There is no real up and comers knocking on the door, begging for their, their shot. So on that base, in fact, and Tyson Fury's just beat the mandatory. So you've got no big money contenders, apart from Tyson Fury. You've got no lineal contenders, i.e. there's no one who's been number one ranked for ages who needs their shot. AJ and Usyk, which is the only real logical next step for the WBC, that's not until July at best, which means we've got the whole of May, whole of June and half of July. So... Realistically here, unless Tyson Fury, or to be fair, if Tyson Fury has decided to flat out retire, which by the way people, he has alleged that, he's alleged to us that he has retired, so if that is the case, really, he shouldn't have no problem within the next week completely relinquishing it, should he? So on that, bear in mind, Tyson Fury's told us he has categorically retired. So really actually, thinking about it from that point of view, there's no reason he shouldn't have already really already really he should have if Tyson Fury really wanted to make a statement of how serious he was about his retirement he could have led with the vacation couldn't he he could have come out on Sunday and said listen I'm serious about my retirement and here's my belt I've vacated it he I mean we're now 10 days after and he hasn't done that so this is a good sign for fans who want him to continue because like I said someone who was serious about retirement would be straight vacating. This tells us that he's at least weighing his options. I mean, the fact that he's even... Maurizio Suleiman just said there that... They're set to meet with Tyson Fury. So, even on that basis, if you're set to meet with someone... That, tell, that shows there's a conversation. When in reality, Tyson Fury has told us there is no conversation. He's told us he's retired. So, if you're retired... There wouldn't be no conversation. All there would be is a simple email. I've retired and I've vacated. See you later, Mauricio. So this is all good news for people who want Fury to continue. Very good news. Now we've fleshed it all out. And really, like I said, the WBC, most likely, you know what Fury's like. Fury going to string us along, most likely. Fury's not going to come out and tell the WBC next week. Yeah, WBC, you can tell everyone that. I'm not vacating. Tyson Fury will just string the WBC along. Now, like I said, hopefully the WBC don't buy that. Hopefully the WBC asked or required Tyson Fury to be more kind of definitive. Tyson, are you genuinely planning on representing this belt again or not? If not, please respect the WBC enough so we can move on and go in our own direction. That's what I'd hope for, but the WBC are way too bum chummy for that to happen. And they've even, as I've explained, they've already implied they're happy to play second fiddle and just be cucked. But either way, from my point of view, any news is good news. Or sorry, no news is good news. The less we hear about this, and the better. Because it would kill me inside. If we find out in the next week that Fury is fully vacated. Because that's game set and match. More or less. I don't think Fury will vacate. Certainly not in the next year. If Fury vacated today. Or within the next week. Yeah, that You can forget the unification fight. There's no way Fury going to vacate. And then. Come back to fight Usyk for three belts. Whilst the W. Nah. That's not going to happen. So that really will be peak for certain man. I'm hoping that ain't the case. Um. And like I said, anyone around Tyson Fury should be telling him it makes. N I mean, he ain't stupid. That's the thing. Yeah, his name's not uh, his name's not Tyson Johnston. Yeah, Tyson Fury ain't stupid. He knows. It's, it's there's certain things that are just too good to be true, and the position he finds himself in in 2022 is genuinely too good to be true. His status. His selling power, his ability versus the competitions, just skyrocketing on every level. Everywhere you look in Tyson Fury's life now is going up and up and up and up. It don't make no sense right now. 
to quit the game. I mean, look at Anthony Johnston. Anthony Johnston is just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And he's still hanging around the place and trying to milk it. So why can't the champ milk it? And that's what I don't, what I don't understand is people, st a lot of Fury f fangirls talk about, oh, it's really dangerous and he needs to think about his health. Wait a minute. Think of all the fighters, yeah, who, f who it's really dangerous for. Amir Khan, he carry on. He get knocked out every time. He's been getting knocked out every time. Yeah, Anthony Johnston, losing all the time. And or getting knocked down. And or getting rocked onto the ropes. When was the last, do you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of other fighters who continue who have a lot more dangerous careers, who carry on carrying on. And none of them are in the position that Tyson Fury finds himself, i.e. in a complete another class. Yeah, Fury is an A-level heavyweight. These other guys are Cs. So it's not like, oh, well, why be? Tyson Fury's got to come up against a heavyweight Canelo, and it's really, no. You, from that point of view, Tyson Fury is the heavyweight Can Canelo. And look what Canelo's doing. He's going around wicking everyone down. And rightfully so. That's what you're supposed to do, people. Yeah? When you've got... When you're that guy, you owe it to the sport. You owe it to your own legacy. When your league's above the competition, you owe it to your legacy to wick... To, you know what I'm saying? To go around wicking. Wick, wick them all down. Yeah? So, that's what it is. No doubt about it. 100%.